Greetings, I'm Brian McIntosh. I'm a reporter, host, and producer. This is Amari Collins. And I'm Brian McIntosh. And you're watching Unsatisfied Round 2, brought to you by Eagle Access. Understand our, our real destiny and be unsatisfied, or we can be satisfied and walk around here trying to fool ourselves and continue to rob these banks like you're doing. Y'all know how that story ends. What's up, Eagle Access? is your boy, Brian McIntosh. I'm here courtside at the Aggie Eagle game. I'm here with Miss NCCU and Joanna Jones. Now, you know it's a crazy rivalry. You know A&T's coming to play, even though they had a struggle this season. Yeah. Give me a score. How do you feel? Uh, Eagles 81, A&T 39. A&T 39. Uh, 47. 47. Now, being a former alumni, tell everybody about the history of the event. How crazy it's been over the years. Wow, man. Uh, when I, I came to school in 2006, uh, right. man, this, this rivalry's been heated way before I was even here, you know? Okay, but I mean, we got the longest home winning streak in the nation right now for HBCU, so, yeah. I mean, what's the prediction? Can you give me a score? Uh, I'll give you a prediction. Uh, we're going to win by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, 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 he has too much, too much heat. He's a little hot with that vest on, but I'm going to let him give him a pass today. Well, access. You know? We're here at the very first North Carolina Central spring football game. I'm here with head coach, none other than. Coach Mack, how you doing? I'm doing good, Brian. How you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh, good. Guys are looking good today. How you feeling? I feel really good. Uh, they flew around with a lot of energy, and that's what we wanted today. Uh, very so it sounds like we can already go ahead and bet that we're going to get this MEAC championship next year. Is that You want to go ahead and put that on camera right now? Uh, no, I don't want to put that out there. You know, I don't want to jinx us or anything like that. But I will tell you this. We're going to be very competitive, and we're going to do an outstanding job of making sure our guys work hard and learn how to finish games. I feel that. I'm looking forward to the season. I hope you guys are. And you're getting all access with Eagle Access. Brian McIntosh introduces us to a track standout whose father is an NBA record holder. Open. Chicago with the flu the game. Lead. Pass comes into Jordan. Here's the shot. At the foul line. A shot on Elo. All prominent moments in NBA playoff history. However, the most spectacular one might have come on May 11th. 1987, where Eric Sleepy Floyd dropped 29 points on Magic Johnson and the Lakers in the fourth quarter, scoring a total of 51 for the night. Come the end of the third quarter, they up about 14, and they're talking a lot of trash, the biggest trash-talking teams in the league. Just like that night against the Lakers, Floyd was pretty much the underdog his whole career, fighting to prove he belonged in the league, much like his daughter and Tar Heel's own. Floyd. He kind of helped me stick with track when I was at my lowest because he understands the struggles between a relationship between your coach and um, he understands long practice days and he gets the, you know, having to travel all the time, having to sacrifice. Just like her dad, Corey hopes to leave her mark. And this Tar Heel is wide awake. In Chapel Hill, I'm Brian McIntosh reporting. Once again, thanks to March Madness, it was another epic weekend in college basketball. To the fans' teams that are going to the Final Four, congrats. And to those who lost, wipe those tears. It's always next year. Now, Max, normally on Mondays we do our weekend top performers on Sports Center, can't But wait. I think... Can't wait for this one. We can't wait. we we got to do one today. Do you have a nominee? Yeah, he's coming over here. Brian Torres Achilles. They could have said, take the week off. But no, he works in here delivering our shot sheets. Thank you. That's a warrior. Lady. You want to make it at ESPN? You got to make these kind of sacrifices. This, this is actually the wrong, the wrong game. Oh, and Brian, I dropped mine. Could you yeah, grab that for there, me? There you go. There you go. <laughs> this guy's a, a champion. <laughs> We've got people that can't show up to work with a sniffle. Dude snapped his Achilles. One word, Max, for showing up to work on crutches in a cast with a torn Achilles. Go. That, it's probably not one word, but that's big time. Right there. Brian, big time. Bringing it on. And working hard, making our job a little bit easier. I got all my shot sheets. I my, did. My one word is hyphenated is sick days. Use them. <laughs> Use Good them. Good Lord. You make a lot of sick days yeah. to heal an Achilles. A lot of fun. Hey, it's Sunday fun day. If you want to find out more about me, please visit my website at www.brianmcintosh.net.